you go over, under, and make sure you go back through the top side of the loop there. I'm gonna get this to lay down a little bit better so it's a little flatter, so it looks a little prettier. That's a figure eight. And if you put that under load, you can untie it even after a large load has been put on it. So that's one way. The more common way, especially if you've been climbing, is you put a figure eight, so over, under, back through the top side. So that's a just a standard figure eight loop. So the first one I showed you was a double figure eight. This is just your standard figure eight loop. And then you retrace your path. I'm gonna move this up because I didn't give myself enough. So I'm just gonna show you how I adjust that. So now I can pull that up the rope. So bring that down and then I can slide this up the rope. So I'm just adjusting it to give myself more room. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully that makes sense. So you see how that makes a figure eight? So now I would tie into my harness. So let's say this is my harness. So I tie into the loop, the gear loop, and then I just retrace this path. I'm going to flip this over so that I can retrace it from this side. So I follow the exact path of the first figure eight. So it goes under this one. So now I can see that it goes over this and then under here. Right. And I go under this one and back through the top side. And the same thing applies here is I want to give myself a couple of inches. Let me cinch that up a little bit better so that you can see. Make sure it lays down pretty good. So I want to make sure I've got four or five inches left 